Let's hope. He shivs him in the back. Damn it! <sighs> With that out of the way, it's time that we finish this. Loon, your father entrusted us with the future. You don't know anything. He predicted this alien strike. We shouldn't be fighting. Shut up. If you won't even listen to me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh shit! Uh... Really, is that all you do is just... Spam Cross Smasher? Oh, wait, that was the wrong person.
This is for stealing my experience points, you bitch. Fucking smack a bitch up. <laughs> I know I couldn't win, but I feel much better now. Just like my dad, I want to believe in you guys. Loon. And you, Masaki. You're definitely my kind of man. You're the first guy who's ever thought I was cute. What? Actually, I said that too. You said her mech was cute. I can't catch a break. Come on. You seem like decent enough people. I came here from Jupiter to fight aliens anyway. So, why don't you let me board the Hagane, huh? You're asking for favors all of a sudden. What should we do, Major Ingram? Frankly, we need all the help we can get right now. I'll talk to the captain. Let's all try our, our best to get along. Captain, we've discovered an escape pod from the enemy AM. Is the pilot still alive? Yes. Recover the pod. Yes, sir. So I hear that pilot you saved is a total hottie. News travels fast. As a matter of fact, she is. But I saved her, so I've dibs on asking her out. I should have saved her then. You shouldn't act like that. Tch, <laughs> look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? Lieutenant Excellent says you've been hitting on a cutie in the Hagane. Th th that's. Oh, yeah, you and Kasuha were always on Gungress duty. I got stuck adjusting the Huckabin Mark II. Sorry, Lieutenant, I didn't mean to. <laughs> There's no point in trying to hide it now. Lieutenant, your teacher's just happy you show interest in girls. Miss Browning, please don't say such things. Miss Browning? I thought we were talking about the captured pilot. Oh, yes. I hear her cousin is a nice piece of man. What are you talking about? Are you talking about Rye from SRX? You bet. He's an heir to the Branstein family. Branstein? As in Commander Branstein of the UCC? She's gotta be a ranking officer to that. That is odd. Are you sure you wanna say that? What about Ring? You... you know her? Of course, we met her on the moon. She's an awesome CEO. Did she say anything about me? Mm, it's probably not best if... It's probably best if I don't say. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? If she's Rai's cousin, her family must be rich. Talk about my type, hey. These questions are useless. I refuse to disgrace myself. Torture me if that's what you want. What we want is hope from you. Help. Yes, with the White Star. Humans shouldn't be fighting each other. The EFA, the DC, and the UCC should unite together to protect the Earth. Easier said than done. I don't think the UCC or DC would agree with you. Except for Lieutenant Colonel Lily, Major Elson, and Major Sanger, that is. What's your opinion, then? If we trust Bane and Meyer, then we, yeah, then we, think we were chosen to fight the aliens. Yes, chosen and trained by both of the commanders. HQ is likely to order us to destroy the White Star. We're going to need all the help we can get. So we're hoping to get help from the Troy pilot. You're saying I might as well die fighting aliens? If that helps you understand the concept... I'm your enemy. Why trust me? Well, Lieutenant Rydis speaks highly of you. He does? Understood. I suppose my life is now in your hands. I can't believe that cute little thing is a robot. It must be related to the Valsian model. Really? Yeah, it's smaller, but they have similar weapons. You're right. Valsian is the second model. Val Val the whatever the fuck that thing. Then why does it look like that? I asked my dad. I didn't want to pilot the Valsian. What's wrong with the Valsian? Hello, it's not my style at all. You're a bitch, you're going to the hangar. I'm not so sure about the style on this one either. Hmm, your pot designed it, huh? Eh, it's his only legacy now. Loon. 
Don't wuss out at me. He died following his beliefs, so I'm okay. Yeah. On top of that, I'm glad that you guys stopped him. Why is that? When a man attains so much power, he becomes consumed by it. Oh, sorry. I'm the one wussing out. Say, Masaki, you want to show me around the Hagane? Okay, sure. Consumed by power, huh? Uh, I guess we mustn't follow the same path as Bane. Hey, Ryose. You sure it was okay to let those two go? Why not? Well, Masaki doesn't... You're right. They're gonna get lost. Let's go. So, you want to be a test pilot for the R-Series? Yes, I just, just let me prove myself, sir. We have more than enough pilots. Huh. <laughs> Except for Lieutenant Ray's R-2. The R-1s and the R-3's pilots are unskilled, right? Those two units are adjusted for Ryose and Aya. Then give me the R-Gun. Alright, I'll consider it. You won't regret this, sir. You sure about that, sir? Yes, the Argon wasn't designed for me anyway. I was talking about Lieutenant Katina, actually. She's taken quite a liking to the test models. Yes, I can see she has heart, but she's a loose cannon. You're good with that sort of person, aren't you? Well, lately people haven't have been avoiding me when I try to teach them yoga. The letter told me you've been forcing people to do yoga. Oh no, not at all, sir. I was. It was just an easy asana. Here, I can give you a quick example, Major. Sorry, I think I'll pass. But Valetta has, mas has mastered this asana, sir. She did? In that case... That's good. Now bend your leg. Er, not really my thing. Oh, you're not as flexible as I thought, Major. Never mind. Did Valetta stay on the moon? Yes, sir. She was given an important mission. I see. Then I must hurry to mine, too. We received an order to return to the Far East Brigade? Yes, the cryptogram came straight from HQ. Who sent it? Doesn't say, but the code is unmistakable. We're just supposed to ignore the White Star and return. Hmm. Huh. This may be interference with the EOT Council, or the federal government. I want this confirmed with Com Laker first. Actually, the commander has already left for Geneva, sir. Commander Laker is a member of the EDC, isn't he? Yes, that's correct. And he's off to Geneva. There may be some trouble with the top brass. Blech. I think it's best to follow orders. Hmm. I guess we're returning to base, Captain. Understood. You've returned. How was your trip, sir? I gathered quite a few supplies. In fact, I'll need the kitchen later to try this recipe. Yes, sir. I'm sure the others will be delighted. Any word on the EFA? The Ghani and the Hiryu have turned back towards Earth, but they seem to be unaware of, of our Kurogane and the whereabouts of the Earth Cradle. I see. Also, we completed the sound integration. In that case, let's hear it now. In the name of Levi Talar, I declare to all Earthlings that you have 30 days to disarm all of your weapons and surrender to us. It's a female voice, and she's speaking our language. They're definitely confident in their plan. Are the irrigators similar to humans? According to our research, it would seem so. That's why Carl Sch Schitzelman of the EOT Council had a secret peace negotiation at the Kotzlin base in Antarctica. Nonsense. The EOT Council plans to surrender to them. Though I disagree, that is one way to save humanity. Shall we join the other remaining units, or head to the Earth Cradle, sir? The current members of the DC don't hold the ideals of my father and Commander Bane, so the Kuragane must act independently. From now on, we must fight our own war. Those who object may leave. Sir, all of us in the Kuragane will follow you. I appreciate that. Now I must go to the kitchen. Yes, sir. Now I only have a one mastery cushion. Yay! This sucks. Ah. Sucks very, very bad.
So let me guess, I have that fucking retarded ass. It's dodgy. Mega Beam Cannon! Has a map attack. Yeah, you wanna know what though? Here's the problem. You're annoying. Give me your shit. Anyway, that's enough for this evening. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.